Knox Model R40 horsepower 7 passenger touring 1910. Before the Springfield built Rolls Royce Silver Ghost, the Massachusetts city's pride and joy was the Knox, produced from 1900 to 1914. Famed in earlier years for its air cooled models with distinctive porcupine engines, Knox eventually evolved into a fine luxury car, which by 1910 boasted modern shaft drive and a water cooled four cylinder engine, with overhead valves for both intake and exhaust, and a finely engineered aluminum gearbox with an unusually smooth oil bathed clutch. This 1910 Knox Model R was formerly exhibited at Automobile Arima in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania the museum of E.W. Gene Zimmerman. Zimmerman may have acquired the car, as he did many of his brass era automobiles, from the fabled Princeton Auto Museum of Albert Garnagigo in Princeton, Massachusetts, a collection that had begun in the 1930s and was one of the first of its kind in America. Later the car was owned by Alan T. Meyer, who owned it for 25 years and appeared with it in Miniaka and Horseless Carriage Club of America activities including several Glidden tours, in his ownership it was awarded the Akis Thomas McKean Tour Trophy in 1989, and was featured in the September to October 1995 issue of the HCCEA Gazette as part of a comprehensive Knox article. On one of Mr. Engelmeyer's later tours it was accidentally driven into a ditch and turned turtle, though amazingly there was little damage to the body except for the top, firewall, and the base of the rear seat. Don C. Balton subsequently acquired the car at the famous Chickasha Swap Meet, and saw it restored back to the original glory, in a rich blue with black fenders, striped in red, and a deep carmine red chassis, wheels and suspension. All trim is nickel-plated brass, a $75 option in 1910. The leather upholstery was properly stuffed with horsehair, as would have been done in period and overseen by a black top and the automatic brand folding windshield. Accessories include Rushmore headlights, Gray and Davis cowl lights and tail light, a Knox 8 day clock for the rear seat passengers, a Jones clock and 60 miles per hour speedometer for the driver, and a discreetly added starter. The level of detail throughout is delightful, including the folding jump seats, which resemble soda parlor chairs of the era, and the Knox name cast into the door sill plates. Offered with full copies of parts and owner's manuals, as well as two spare trunks, this a particularly charming, powerful brass car from one of the East Coast's best known early manufacturers.